I will show you three tools you can use to convert PDFs to pages. The only way to convert PDFs to pages is a two-step process. First, you have to convert your PDF to Word and then open it with pages. I have three sample PDF files here. If I try to open them through Apple Pages, they are grayed out. Even if I try to right-click on the files and force the Pages application to open them, I can't. Nothing happens. Not even an error message. The only way to convert PDFs to Pages is to convert them to Word first and then open them in Pages. The first tool I will test is the free Adobe PDF to Word converter. The first time you use it, it won't even ask you to log in, but after a couple of runs, it will ask you to sign in with your email address. The PDF to Word conversion is still going to be free at this point. Once the document is converted, I will download it. Then I will right click on it and use the Pages app to open the Word document. You may receive a message that the document may look a little different, certain fonts or styles were not found. But when I compared the original PDF file to the converted file in Pages, it looked almost identical. I got a couple of empty pages in between, but that is about it. The conversion was not only successful, it was amazing. The second tool I will use is the PDF to Docs online converter. I will test my second PDF example. This time, I will open the converted Word document within the Pages application by going to File and Open. This conversion didn't even have any additional empty pages in between. The fonts were slightly different, but very much in the same font family. The colors were spot on and the images and icons looked identical in terms of layout and size. That was incredible. I can easily edit the file as if it was created in Pages. The last tool that I will test is none other than Microsoft Word. I will test it out with my third PDF example. Microsoft Word can open PDF files within its application and the example files are not grayed out as they were with pages. At this point, the file is still a PDF, so I have to save it with the .docs extension to truly convert it to Word. Then, as before, I will right-click on the converted Word file and open it with Pages. The newly converted Pages file looks identical to the original PDF. There are no extra empty pages and even footers and page numbers converted pretty well. Best of all, I can edit the text and file as if it was originally created in Pages. The newly typed text is in the original font of the PDF. Amazing. Thanks so much for watching.